And then lower doses is the exaggerated curvature of the lower spine. So hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I am also a family nurse practitioner. I make videos on nursing health and wellness. So if that's something you're interested, make sure that you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. All right. In today's video, I will be discussing the difference between kyphosis and lower doses. All right. Without further ado, let's go. Okay, so kyphosis is an exaggerated forward bending of the spine. So that slouching forward look. And it looks very similar to what people call hunchback, right? It's also known as Dowager's hump or hunchback, and it can be caused by a variety of reasons. So broken, crushed vertebrae, compression fractures, they those can result in curvatures of the spine. Mild compression fractures don't really produce noticeable signs or symptoms. Osteoporosis, which is the most common cause of kyphosis. Over time, wedging and fractures of the vertebrae, they produce a gradual loss of height, and then they produce that humped back effect. And this bone thinning disorder can cause spinal curvature. Osteoporosis is most common in older women and people who have taken corticosteroids for long periods of time. Corticosteroids are steroids and they are immunosuppressant and a lot of people that perhaps they have some kind of autoimmune disorder lupus those would be the individuals that are taking corticosteroids even maybe rheumatoid arthritis even though that there are other medications available for people with rheumatoid arthritis so sometimes unfortunately you may see a little old lady at the grocery store and she's completely bent over that is perhaps what has happened to her she has osteoporosis Disc degeneration is those soft, circular little donuts that sit in between spine. Sometimes they call it donuts. They act as cushions between your spinal vertebrae. And with, with age, these discs dry out and shrink, and that often worsens kyphosis. And Schuerman's disease, it, this typically begins during the growth spurt and occurs before puberty. Boys are affected more than girls. Birth defects, it's pretty self-explanatory. Spinal bones that don't develop properly before birth can cause kyphosis. There are certain syndromes that can cause kyphosis, such as Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and Marfan syndrome, and cancer or cancer treatments. So cancer in the spine can weaken vertebrae and make them more prone to compression fractions, and so can chemotherapy and radiation cancer treatments. So what I want you to remember from this is the fact that K makes a k k sound and so does the letter C. And the letter C looks like this. And that's what these individuals look like. They're hunched back. And here is what kyphosis looks like. This is not as severe as little granny I'm talking about in the grocery store that she's completely hunched over. But here's a healthy spine and here is an unhealthy spine with this hump here, right? Here's a hump here. Kyphosis. So this is kyphosis all day. Now also, we need to be careful. Sometimes I see kyphosis in young adults and simply because of bad posture, right? We sit at a computer all day. We tend to slouch. So with time, we, with time, we adopt that posture permanently. So you want to be very careful. You want to uh, sit properly so that you don't develop kyphosis. Lower doses is an excessive inward curvature of the lumbar spine or the lower spine, right? L for lower, lumbar. So you know that lower doses has to do with the lower, low spine. Look at that here, low, low spine. Contributing factors, achondroplasia. And achondroplasia is a disorder in which the bones don't grow normally, resulting in short stature, and it's associated with dwarfism. Spondylolisthesis, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Anyways, this is a condition in which the vertebrae, usually the lower back, slips forward. Again, osteoporosis, obesity, or being extremely overweight. And sometimes that's why you'll see it in pregnant women that they'll adopt a temporary lordosis because they're carrying all that weight in their belly. Um, so obesity or being extremely overweight can cause lordosis. Kyphosis, so if you have a the hump here, and then it makes your spine extra curvy down here. 
Discitis is an inflammation of the disc between the bones of the spine, and it's most often caused by infection, and it could just be benign. And there is juvenile lordosis, and the children will grow out of it, especially sometimes toddlers. They'll have that little belly here, and they usually grow out of it. This is a picture of what lordosis looks like. So you see that exaggerated curvature of the spine? Think of the letter L, right? It curves like this, so lordosis, it curves. So I'm giving you two things. Kyphosis makes a C sound, so it, it looks like this. And lordosis, you make an L with your fingers and the spine curves in this direction. So if you need an additional visual, kyphosis, kyphosis. I've seen people like this at church or at the grocery store, it's so sad. Okay, and then lordosis, an exaggerated, <laughs> okay, and then lordosis is the exaggerated curvature of the lower spine, so clearly this is not my booty, clearly I have stuffed it, just FYR. You see that L, that curve in my spine, like, here I am, lordosis. I had a teacher that would say that when someone is pregnant, it throws their weight forward, and that's why they get that curvature back here, and that the, the girl will be like, the pregnant lady will be like, oh lord, oh lord. So L for, I'm doing all these things to help you remember. Look at how ridiculous I look right now. So anyways, pregnancy, oh lord, it throws my back out, right? Or L for lordosis. So now, this is lordosis, an exaggerated curvature of the spine. You should not forget it, okay? All right, so after today's ridiculous lesson, you should definitely, definitely, definitely remember what lordosis and what kyphosis is. To summarize kyphosis, your upper back looks like this. Lordosis, your L for lower, your low back looks like this. All right, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification bell. When you do all that, it helps me place higher in YouTube's algorithm and other students that are struggling can also benefit from learning from my videos. All right, until next time, bye.